pump the living shit out of it, man. Okay, so this is just a video quickly on something kind of cool. Um, so you can now buy, they're kind of, they're somewhat new, they're pretty expensive, it's a pain in the ass, but you can actually get lithium metal from the lithium ion batteries. This is one right here, double A. Um, I've already started opening this. Uh, it doesn't look like this when you buy it. It's got like kind of a silvery blue plastic thing on it, and it says lithium ion, like Duracell or whatever the company. And yeah, but it has to be lithium ion. Um, like any of the alkaline ones are like, I'm pretty. They're like the acid ones, and uh, it's not a good idea to take those apart. But these ones are not. They're okay to take apart. Um, yeah. So what you pretty much you need to start to do is you got to peel off the plastic. It's pretty easy. It just kind of comes off. If you if you have a pair of needle nose pliers or something, you could just start pulling it off. And yeah. And I am also I'm going to have a you want a plastic bag or some sort because the um when you pull the battery apart, there's like a sulfur coating layer thing on one of the um on one of the sides of the lithium metal. Uh, and it all comes apart nice, like it's not like you have to scrape it off the lithium, but it's separated by a thing, but it smells very bad. Um, so you kind you might want like a plastic bag or something just to put it in. Uh, cause, yeah, it stinks and you don't really want that smell around. So yeah, and just put it in a bag and then chuck it out or something. But yeah, so what you do, as I've started here, you actually, you have to start peeling away at this steel casing. So I just pretty much, I bite it with the thing and then I twist outwards. And I do that all around the edge. And as you can see, I'm about three quarters of the way around. I just have that little bit there. So I'll do a few. And when you do this, it probably will start shorting out and getting a bit hot. So you kind of want to work quick. Just because you might damage it or screw it up. I mean, you're kind of breaking it right now, but yeah, and it gets hot, so if you don't want that. Um, so that starts shorting it out, and then what there is here, and that, and then you have this metal cap thing, and that just comes off. You can just kind of go like that, and it comes apart, and and then you can start. It smells right away. It kind of sucks, but uh, it's nowhere near as bad as it gets without the thing. And then you can see a few sparks. Um, and then this next thing, I believe it's like a valve filter thing or some crap, but you get this little washer thing, and then you have this valve bit, and that comes right off as well. You just kind of got to dig a bit more into the battery, which is a pain in the ass because it, it's pretty tough stuff. The plastic's like harder to get by than the thing, but yeah, see that just comes off. That just came off like this, just pops right off. And then you have the insides of the battery, which is right here. Uh, the lithium metal, it's not that stuff you can see. It's That's just some foil that separates. But the best way I've found to get it out is actually to grab this little piece of plastic on the inside like that and pull on that. And it kind of comes out like at the shopping bags at the supermarket. And that just comes right out like this. And that's your battery casing. You can chuck that. I put it in my bag with all my other stuff. And this part smells very bad. I should probably be doing this outside, but yeah, so now this your metal's in here. Um if I unravel this, I'll see if I can get most of it in the bag. But you can just start opening it. And you can see that's actually I'm not gonna I'm gonna do it this way. Actually. Yeah, okay, I'll do it like this. So, this is the sulfur stuff. This black stuff here, you want to keep this away from things because it stinks. And your lithium metal's right there, and it's reacting with the oxygen. You want to, if you want to save this, have some oil or something nearby to store it in. Don't put it in water because it's it reacts with water. 
violently-ish. It bubbles and gets very hot. So you don't want to be putting it in water. But if you have oil, oil's fine. Um, it's chemistry for you. <laughs> and then you get this in. And here's the metal. I'm not going to put this in oil. I don't want to save it. I'm just going to burn it. Because it's cool when you burn it. It gets very bright. But So here's the metal. It is warm to the touch. Uh, I'm going to seal this bag up because this stinks. It smells very bad. This is your disgusting stuff. I'm actually going to open a window. It smells nasty. Oh man, okay. So yeah, and now this is the metal. This is lithium. It's all tarnished now because it reacted with the oxygen, but this would be shiny, silverish. And it reacts with um, water, if I have a bit. There, that is my little square of lithium metal. And I am going to pour a little droplet of water on this marble surface. And this is just proof it's lithium or one of those metals. It's like alkali, I can't quite remember. And you can see it is reacting with the water and bubbling, and it is gone. And that gave off a decent amount of heat. The water is pretty hot now. Uh, now I'm going to burn it because it's cool when you burn it and it gets really very much bright. Okay. So it's burning very bright. It's reddish color, making lots of smoke. Spark. Oh, holy shit! Oh, that was sick. That has never happened before. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. It just exploded into molten bits of lithium and it's still burning on my thing here. That is very cool. Huh. It's like a flare. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and it appears... Oh, no, good. thought I melted my pliers. Oh, man, that was sweet. <laughs>